everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jo, I do craft videos as well as Poundland hauls and my charity shop finds. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I will reply. And if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me, then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends. If you're returning, as always, my friends, thank you for your continued support and welcome back. So I've got a few little bits from Poundland today, not too much. There's not a lot of new stuff in Poundland at the moment, which is completely understandable. And yeah, I've just picked up a few little bits. And then I've got some stuff from the charity shop as well as a few bits from some other places. So yeah, we'll get into it. So sit back, enjoy. I hope you're comfy and let's start. So the first thing that I picked up was from Poundland and it's in the craft section. And these are the 3mm adhesive gems and you get 1,080 gems in a pack. I needed to pick up another two packs because the project that I'm doing on the 21st of August, my secret project that I can't tell you anything about until August and we're nearly there, we're nearly there and I'm so excited to be able to share some information with you about it. But I've already used a full pack of these on what I'm making and I know I'm probably going to use another pack and I just grabbed another one just in case I needed some more. So now I've got, should I have enough to finish it? I've not got far with it. I've only really just started it, but it's really taking shape and I'm looking at it. And yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to be able to sit down and work on it a little bit more and then be able to share some information about it. So that's what I needed these for. Like I said, I've already used one full pack and they are self-adhesive. Self you just take them off the plastic sheet and then stick them down. I do find that they're not very sticky and what I normally use is PVA glue with it so I'll put PVA glue down on where I want to stick them and then put these on and it actually helps with the PVA glue because you can move them into the place that you want to move them to and it just makes them a little bit easier to work with but yeah I'm glad I picked up another two packs when I was running out of the other pack I was really worried that when I went into Poundland I wouldn't be able to get any more of these and I'm so glad that they had them in so yeah I grabbed two of them then in the doorway as you go in near all the shampoos and the conditioners and the bubble bath and the makeup I picked up a new hairbrush and yeah it's of a decent size this and it seems like it'll be absolutely fine and I just needed a new one so I grabbed one while I was there. Let's see... I also picked up, I picked up some of this in, I don't think it was my last Poundland haul, it was the Poundland haul before that, um, and I said that I'd never seen these before in Poundland, and if I saw them in a gold colour I'd get some um, when I picked up the other colours, but I bought a purple and a pink, no purple and blue, and these are the Let's Craft Glitter in the 500 G's eyes, and I needed some gold. In my last Poundland haul, I showed the two gift bags that I bought, the one with Mary Poppins on the front and Bella from Beauty and the Beast, and on the Mary Poppins one, the gold glitter had started. It had a really weird streak across the middle of it, and I said that I would just recover it with some glow, gold glitter so I managed to grab some and yeah now I've got this in pink purple pur no not pink I've got it in purple blue and now I've got it in gold as well and I probably will get some of the other colors as well it's a really good size and I really like the little bottles and I probably will use the bottles once I've used the glitter in some kind of display or miniature and use them as little potion bottles so yeah at least I get two uses out of these which is really good so yeah While I was there, I grabbed some more of the all-purpose adhesive. I have no idea how you pronounce this, so I'm sorry I never pronounced the name of it, but this, you can use this on any surface, I think. Yeah, you can pretty much use it on glues, glue, every material, wood, metal, pottery, glass, leather, textile, paper, cardboard, but not styrofoam. Um, so yeah, it's brilliant, this this stuff. I've 
only just recently started using this. I bought a tub of this, I think it was in my last Poundland haul, and I've already used it all. So yeah, it's just ideal that if you've got a small thing that you need to glue, it saves getting the glue gun out and heating it up. So yeah, this is what I've been using instead of my glue gun. In the stationery section, I they've got a whole new stationery section now in Poundland and it's all stuff that's like two pound or three pound there's a lot of sharpies there's a lot of ballpoint pens fountain pens and it's really nice stuff it is really really nice stuff but they've condensed the craft stuff which isn't ideal um for somebody who does crafting but it's nice to see that they've extended the stationary range but i picked up a new book and this is just a lined notebook like so and i just really really like the color and yeah i i have a thing i'm sure i'm not the only one where i just absolutely love stationery i've said this before i buy books notebooks and things like this and then i really look forward to writing in them and i do like the first page and then i feel like i've messed it up and then i end up buying a new book so i'm probably not the only one who's got loads and loads of notebooks lying around but i've added a new one to my collection again in the craft section i just picked up another of the 20 by 25 centimeter canvases i wanted to because i want to um do a like beach themed piece of artwork and i wanted two of them i had two but then i used one when i made the um abandoned house um frame so this is one of the poundland canvases that i've obviously done something with and that meant i needed to pick up another one to replace the one that i used so i just grabbed another one so i've still got two i've now got two again which means that i can do the beach theme artwork that i want to do and then i haven't seen these before i'm sure they've had them in the past but i've never seen them and these are the canvas board and these are 25 by 30 centimeters so these are five centimeters larger than the canvas and they're just completely flat but this is going to be ideal for a miniature that i'm making and yeah they're just ideal for bases so that's what i'm going to be using this for i'm going to pick some more up because i'm going to probably be using quite a few of these in my miniature scenes that are going to be coming up so yeah i've got um on the project that i'm doing on the 21st of august i've also got another project that i started before the one that i'm doing on the 21st of august and i've had to put that other one aside until i finish the one that's coming out my surprise one on the 21st and the one that i've put to the side is going to be going on this so that's what i wanted that for i think it's going to be big enough for what i want to sit here and then i can do the decoration around the outside so i might get another one and have two of them together but if not i'm just going to end up using the one in the tool section i picked up the get a grip plier set and this is two sets of pliers i already do own some pliers but i wanted two um, sets so that it's easier to stretch out wire when it's bent and yeah i just thought this would be ideal to pick up for a pound and now i can add it to my toolbox which is the video that i did before this i upcycled my dad's toolbox that i got left that I picked up from my mum's house and um, I wanted to do it as a tribute to him and make it into my toolbox so that I had somewhere to put all my tools in like he used to put his tools in so yeah these will be going in that box and yeah I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched that video and all your lovely kind comments and yeah thank you it was emotional to make but I'm really glad that I did it and it took me a lot longer than I expected but I'm really happy with the results I'm over the moon with the results and every time I look at it I just think of my dad and it makes me smile so yeah really really happy with that and then the last two things that I picked up was I picked up one of these quite a while ago and I said I was probably going to get some more and I was thinking of doing some kind of wood burning but I just picked up another two of the wooden rolling pins and now i have three of these which is what i wanted and yeah i'm looking forward to doing some wood burning and these are going to get cut up depending on how easy it is to cut through them 
and yeah um i'm really looking forward to doing that at some point i want a nice stencil that i can trace onto the rolling but sorry <clears throat> I want a nice stencil that I can trace onto the rolling pin and then burn it with the um, wood burning tool that I've got. So that's a plan for a future video. And then the last thing I picked up were these two 18 centimeter non-stick sandwich tins. And I've got an, I think I've got an idea of what I want to do with these, but um, yeah, really, really looking forward to doing that at some point. A while ago, not too long actually, probably around about three or four weeks if I can remember correctly, I made a three to stand, um, like vintage style stand to put on my makeup in, it's one of my craft videos and I use cardboard to make it and I just want to point out that you could probably use these if you wanted to do that craft instead of doing the cardboard you could actually use these and stack them together which would be a lot easier you could do them in set of three set of four set of two whatever you wanted but i just wanted to put that idea out there i won't be doing that with these because i've already done a stand so i don't want to redo it but um if you want something to do with these that's craft related that's an idea that you could probably do so that's everything from Poundland. So if you're on here to see the things that I bought from Poundland, thank you for stopping by and I will see you again in two weeks. And if you're staying to watch what else I picked up, then thank you and we'll get on with it. So on a Tuesday morning is our local market and I get my flowers from there. I pay a pound a bunch. And what I've been doing is on a Tuesday, I volunteer at the RSPCA for a couple of hours. So I've been getting up, I've been going to the local market, going to the few charity shops that are around near the stall and then going and do my volunteering for a couple of hours and then I come home and then I've been in the house ever since I, I stay in the house for the rest of the week then so Tuesdays is my day to go and get a little bit of exercise and a little bit of fresh air and just pick up a few little bits so I went on Tuesday to the market stall and in I think it was two two videos ago two pound lands ago I showed you the two can um sandcastle kit it comes in a set of three from poundland and i mentioned that i wanted to do a tropical display with the toucans and i'm going to use plaster of paris or clay to mold the toucan and put it into a display so i just went to see if they had any flowers that were like tropical and they don't really but i just picked some bright colors because that's what i want to use in it so i just grabbed some green leaves for it and then I also picked up two blue and one pink of these flowers are these lilies I think they're supposed to be lilies are these supposed to be lilies let me know I'm sure these are supposed to be lilies but yeah I just got two in the blue and one in the pink um so that's what they're going to be for and I want to build something for them and then do that into a display and I'm hoping that I can get that done pretty soon because I want to do it this year and I don't want to do it in autumn or winter and we're nearly getting up to autumn so um we'll see if I can get manage to get that done then I went to my local DIY store that I go to and I wanted some black straws and these are for the project on the 21st. Actually, the all the items that I got from my DIY shop are one, two, three, four. I got four items from the DIY shop and they're all for this project on the 21st. But I picked up, two. I didn't need 225 flexible straws in black, but I have 225 flexible straws in black and and... I know these are plastic and I wasn't great about buying them. I do have paper ones, but you can see the you can see where they're like how they're made. You can see the ridge that's through the straw and I want them to be completely smooth. So I ended up buying these, but I will use all these. I will be using them in crafts. I'm not just going to use them to drink out of and then throw them away. That's not me. I like to recycle. So yeah, I won't be doing that. But um, I really desperately needed some of these straws. So I grabbed them. I looked online. I could have probably got them a lot cheaper from Wish and AliExpress. But I need them 
to be able to carry on making what I'm making and it take weeks for them to get arrived from China so yeah I just picked up some of them then I also grabbed and I wasn't too happy about these but I ended up buying them in the end I've been mentioning that I found it really difficult to find gold spray paint I still don't have any in Poundland and this is the only one that I could find and this is metallic gold spray ideal for wood and metal and it's permanent and it's by works of art and it's quite a dark gold I bought two of them they were one ninety nine. Um, I did have a look on Amazon and you're looking at $3.99, $4.99 for a tin of gold spray paint and this is actually a really quite a dark dull gold. I have used it on this project um, I've also used another gold spray paint, the bit that I had left over which is of a bright gold and that one was from Poundland so I've got a mixture of two golds on it and it looks quite well for what I wanted it for but yeah I grabbed these two and I wish I hadn't bothered but I will use it, um, I need to use more of it on this project so yeah I'm glad I got it in the end but it wasn't ideal it wasn't the color that I really wanted but it's worked well mixed with a brighter gold so yeah I managed to get some gold spray paint and then again on spray paint, I paid $3.99 for this. Um, again, I was looking on Amazon and we're looking at $6.99, $7.99 and I needed some of this in this colour and this is in deep copper. And yeah, like I said, I paid $3.99 for this. This is Paint Factory Interior and Exterior Metal metallic coat metallic paint and this is the same make as the gold paint that you can get in Poundland um but I've never seen a copper colour in Poundland and yeah I'm really really glad that I picked it up it was cheaper than getting it off Amazon I'm not too sure what I've, the color, how bright it's going to be I hope it's not going to be as dark as the gold colour is I hope it's going to be quite bright but yeah I needed this as well for the project on the 21st and then the last thing that I picked up was this eyelet tool kit. This was $1.99 and it comes with a load of eyelets. And again, I need this for that project and I'll probably end up using it in other projects later on. But this is what I want. Everything from the DIY shop. So there I've got some charity shop bits. Okay, uh, the first thing I picked up, I actually picked up three of these, but I've used a pack already. Um... When I say I used a pack, I tried putting it on, I wanted to use them on my dad's toolbox and I painted them and I didn't look, I didn't like how it was looking. So I just put them to one side, but I picked up and these were 50p. These are from store 21 and these are Christmas decorations. You get three in a pack and they are of these red deer with little snowflakes printed on them. And then you get a little snowflake um, as well attached and yeah I tried painting them blue and white to go on my dad's toolbox and I didn't like the way that they were looking so I've left them to one side and I'll use them for something else but yeah I've got another two packs so and I don't know if I said they were 50p each they were 50p each then from the same shop I grabbed these and this is a pack of six and these were a pound and these are of these little fake birds I know you can get these on Wish, I know you can get these on Amazon, as Amazon, you can get them on AliExpress and they think they're free but you only get a couple and you pay postage but yeah when I saw them um, they're not the kind of colours that I would normally use but I probably will use the green ones, I probably will use them all but um, yeah for a pound I couldn't leave them there because you know me I love my birds, I love my flowers and yeah they're ideal so they will be probably popping up at some point in a future project then I grab these these are the thicket plastic mirror mirrors 100 by 150 millimeter a pack of 10 and these were 99p and they just came in a bag like this and they've got a plastic coating on it to stop it from shining at the moment but um, they are proper mirrors once you start to peel off the protective plastic like so. So yeah, I've got a pack of 10 of them. I will use them in a few crafts. I've got one that I want to use them for which will be a Halloween craft and that will actually go with something else that I bought and I'll show you this. So they were 99p for a pack of 10 from the Children's Society 
and then these I got in international aid I paid 50p each for them and they are some tiny little metal frames like so and these are going to be for Halloween as well so I've got them and I've got the mirrors so that's what I'm going to be using them for but I'm looking for any more small little picture frames that I can find for Halloween and hopefully doing a miniature so yeah really 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 chuffed that I managed to pick these two up looking forward to doing something with them and it will definitely be a future project from the same shop international aid I grabbed this this was 50p and it is just a large hollow um opening bauble and yeah I'm gonna do it and don't put a miniature in it um we know I'm gonna be putting a miniature in it so that is something that I'm hoping to do for this Christmas and it's actually quite a decent size it doesn't say anywhere on it how big it is but yeah it is of a decent size and I picked these up these were 75p and these are driftwood art and this is a stationery set well it's a card set and I just really, really liked the beach themed decor for them. And yeah, they've got the lighthouses and anchors. And what else do they have? A beach house, which is super cute. And then I think there's also, yeah, seagull as well which I absolutely love. So I just thought they'd be great for some kind of craft in the future. I've got no plans whatsoever with them at the moment, but I thought they were handy to have. And yeah, I will probably do something with them. Seeing that I'm doing quite a lot of beach themed projects. Um, yeah, I just thought they'd be nice to have and they were 75p, so I can't complain. So I've got three things left. The first thing that I've got is this bag of shelves. I paid 50p for these bag of shelves. And yeah, I will definitely be using these. I have used shelves quite a lot in some of my previous crafts. And yeah, I will be using these in my other beach related crafts that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, super happy that I got them along with the cards. So yeah, they will be ideal together like I said I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing yet but they will work together I'm sure and then the last two things that I got was I got these from the children's society I actually paid $1.59 for each of them I got two they were from B&M's and originally they were $2.99 and these are the glass candle holders like so I am going to probably end up spray painting them and this is what they come like so yeah I think I'm going to end up spray painting the metal stand in gold and putting these in my bathroom but I just thought for one for 159 I just couldn't leave them there and I do love my candles so yeah I thought these would look nice in the bathroom once spray painted and then the last thing that I got was this little money box I paid 150 for it and it is of course of a red British telephone box and I'm going to use this in a miniature I'm sure I'm going to use this in a miniature at some point it's actually quite heavy when I saw it in the cabinet it was in the glass cabinet I didn't think it was heavy I thought it was made of wood and it's actually made out of metal so it has got quite a bit of weight to it but I just thought it'd be really sweet as a addition to a miniature it's got the hole in the top where you put your money but I'll probably just put a piece of paper over it and paint it red I don't want to fill it up and ruin it but I will just hide the hole at the top but yeah that's, that's everything it. guys I've bought in the last two weeks not as much as I normally buy but I still got some bits I got quite a lot from the charity shop this time and I'm really happy with the stuff that I picked up I really like the little glass bauble that I'm going to put a miniature in I absolutely love this and yeah the birds are really sweet and I'm just really looking forward to doing some more crafting I'm sorry there wasn't a video yesterday it's actually sat next to me here I can see it it's so nearly finished um but I will be back on Monday with my next craft video it was uh it was really really fun I might actually just know show you a sneak peek but this is can you tell what it is yet um, yeah, I uh, I was having fun yesterday making miniatures, so I've got another miniature chair. So, probably give you a big enough hint of what's coming on Monday. But yeah, really, really happy with how it's looking, and I just need to finish it off. So, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you all have a good weekend and the rest of the week. And I will see you all on Monday with...
my next craft video. So take care, see you then, and bye for now.